And welcome to yet another day of space adventure. You are only five light years away from your destination, home. The fuel tank is full and the ship is flying at full speed. Today's to-do list contains waking up and touching the What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town, even in space. Mafia come in to collect.
Sweet fellow Mafia watch TV last night? Confusing science owls say small people can jump double in air. I saw. This makes Mafia uncomfortable with body. Must go work out. Makes people scared of Mafia. Life of Mafia is good. Hey you! Down there! Don't think I didn't see you stalking me! Us kids should stick together, not stalk one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what do you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? Oh, by the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? Tell you what, come up here and I can show you where some of your junk landed. Rebel Squad. Hey, I think one of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's fountain. Messed it up real good. When going over there, just avoid making eye contact with the Mafia and you'll be fine. Good luck, fellow Rebel. See ya!
Vaults around city belong to Mafia. No touch. <laughs> mafia joking. Child can't open vault. Vault secure with code. Wait, Mafia code not in pocket. Uh... Seagull eat fish, but fish belongs to Mafia. We punch Seagull for not respecting Mafia. Seagull say, no punch, I have child. Mafia punch Seagull with child. Mafia can't have child witness when Mafia teaching lesson. Oh, this awkward for Mafia. Mafia not sure what to do. Boss, what do we do with eyewitness? Teach her lesson, boys. Mafia won't bow to little girl. Prepare to feel Mafia's wrath. Heads up, little punk! Do not think about avoiding barrels! See if girl can handle this barrel. This lead 
nowhere. Mafia need to take care of this Mafia style. Prepare to feel what Mafia do to old ladies. <laughs> A bunch of losers. Hey, you're all right, new kid. Do you have a name? No? You shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl, I take it. That thing you grab there. Are you collecting them? Because I know where there's more of them. They've been raining from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. <gasps> we should go up there and get your junk! It'll be fun! I'll take any opportunity that involves messing up the Mafia! You with me, buddy? will be no problem. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this gang. Yarn can be found around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you.
Little girl see thing over there? Mafia wonder if there is way to get, but Mafia no time to search for entrance if Mafia need to stare. lead to Mafia. Not good. Big immigration problems. We fix this by moving to island. Now no road lead to Mafia. Seagull eat fish, but fish belongs to Seagull say. Mavia knew all along, Mavia is being invaded by aliens!
monster! Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? <laughs> You're a killing machine! Let's go get... your time help me out here get these brutes off my case and we can go inside good job kid It's her own fault. These roulette tables purely for loose. No gambling here. Go home with you. You should leave. This no place for little girl. Most places not for child, but especially here. <laughs> Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. 
She look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. Hi there, young one. I am from a far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat, if you have money, of course. Kid, open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Go ahead, kid.
The Mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cad is here. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. <laughs> in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now. Including this hourglass piece. If you want it, We'll have to settle it in true Mafia style! Lights! Action! It is showtime! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
things do anyway. Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Are they some sort of rare co Wait, huh? evil, then I will. I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it.
This studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, your buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good, dirty picnics! You copied our props! I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. Oh, yeah? Let's see how well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> oh, wait, uh... 
Shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. All right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. And, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. Yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh look, my fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? Hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Go get near DJ Grooves, all right? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Grooves' latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Grooves fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird.
Magnificent, stunning. This trophy is everything I desire on the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? It's just a little girl. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are, frankly, terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move.
Let's see how the picture turned out. Oh. Darling, you move! The picture is ruined! How could you? We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old-fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. Perfect! Let's slide this picture into your passport and... Here you go! One passport for you. Wonderful, darling! Oh, just wonderful! Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual Bard Movie Awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Oh, where are my owl guards at? Why are the owls so darn useless? Oh, all right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. <laughs> You have to know. Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cook and Cat is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. Identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know, so keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know about relics. If you're able to identify a relic, Something great might happen. You never know. So keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know.
back, lassie. I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. Hello, fellow Express Owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? I see. I see. Is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. As you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? Oh, it is... I see, I see. This is the kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow express owl. Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on at the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true! Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? <coughs> is certainly an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. notice all these crows around the place? They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Do you see this advanced formula on the blackboard? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? See, the solution is. It was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. And thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Fellow Express Owl, do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? 
if entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. That name is great! I can already imagine it. The mighty... Savior of Justice. I'll just write your answer down here real quick. Owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow Express Owl? Oh, poor Express Owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your... But you'd better get your... checked out by a doctor. I read online, it could be a sign of bird flu. my contact lens somewhere. Please, don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself.
Mjörder! On my Owl Express? I can't believe someone would murder one of the Express Owls! And I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister! What do you have to see for yourself? You're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? That's what a murderer would do. Leave this case to us. We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. We'll be searching the entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in me own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, we'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here while we investigate further. I hope no one goes into the VIP area and accidentally steps on my contact lens. Oh, those core picnics can't tell me what to do. I bet they committed the murder and are destroying all the evidence.
thank you really for saving me. Woof, woof. I found this clue on the murderer. Hope it helps you. Woof, woof. evidence. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you've done pickle to solve the case? Who's the murderer? Which one are you dead at? the express owl all by himself, a lonely victim in your master scheme. With a hatred for society and its rapidly increasing progress of transportation, you strike down the first passenger you saw. His body laid like a mannequin with blood spilling everywhere and a smell. It woke your inner demons. Then you tore off his limbs and ate them one by one, like an animal lusting for blood. That's how it happened, wasn't it? You murdered that owl in cold blood. Actually, I'm fine. She just stuck this fake rubber knife on me and told me to play dead. Oh. And still, you've gone too far this time, detective. You're going to the doghouse. Well, thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer, you also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. What? You think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express movie. Murder on the Owl Express. 
Oh, you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? Ha! I think not. Here, take this thingamajig and get out of here. <laughs> And you're better not star in any of DJ Groove's movies! His movies are foul haggis on a giant pile of pig droppings! Also, we got an exclusivity deal, yeah? wasted an entire bottle of ketchup to make this murder look real. But all this trouble isn't worth it. I'll just start cleaning up now. Man, I just needed to get home from work. I didn't sign up for a big murder mystery. My wife is gonna kill me. Thank you. 